Do you think climate change has anything to do with the Duluth situation? Well, absolutely has to do with the Duluth situation, the drought. A whole host of extreme weather events can directly be attributed to uh, climate change. No question about that. What, what should the legislature be doing about that? Well, I hope that next session we're going to take it real seriously and, and pass some legislation to address it, uh, both fossil fuel uh, consumption and uh, looking at alternatives to that. There is absolutely truth in the fact that climate change appears to be changing the number of severe weather events that we're having globally. And so, yes, it's absolutely contributing to this type of uh, event. They did when the Democrats were in charge, which is to move towards renewable energies, trying to reduce greenhouse gases, possibly move to a regional carbon exchange or some kind of uh, solution that brings down the contribution of Minnesota to greenhouse gases. And if Democrats went back to the legislature, they'll do more of that. Okay. What do you think of the session? Yeah, right. Up and down. I mean, it's uh, good and bad. You know, there's some highlights. I'm glad we got the Viking Stadium done, created some jobs and things like that. But, you know, there's frustrations. I wish we didn't have to shut down. I wish there had been a little more compromise between the parties. But it is what it is. You can only do what you can do, you know. What do you think? Uh, climate change had anything to do with this? Uh... No. No, I don't think so. No. The constitutional amendments? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm still hopeful that, uh, particularly with the marriage amendment, that we're going to be able to uh, defeat that amendment. I, mean, I still think that uh, Minnesotans are going to choose fairness over uh, unfairness. And I think the voter ID, I think they're starting to make some good progress with people. And we got to still see what the Supreme Court's going to do, but I certainly am going to be out there campaigning against both of them. I think, in general, our more extreme weather, uh, from what I understand of the science, uh, certainly is something we can expect more and more of, and it seems to be the trend across the globe. Well, I mean, I think we got to keep moving in the direction we've been moving in Minnesota over the last uh, decade, which is moving more and more to different sources of energy. Uh, we can do better on the transportation system if we were to get some more light rail, for instance, uh, in in the Twin Cities. Uh, so there's a lot of steps we can take, uh, but it also requires individuals uh, in their own lives to take those kind of steps as well. It's not going to just be a government solution. What's going to happen on the amendments? I would say decent chance they'll both go down. I sure hope so. I think it's both of them, constitutions for expanding people's rights, not for taking them away, and both of these take away rights. We certainly ought to be changing our energy policies, investing in renewable energy. I mean, that's the best thing we can do. Dollars we send to other states for coal or natural gas or oil, use them here, create Minnesota jobs. And I mean, the sun and wind and renewables and energy efficiency are all Minnesota products, and they save money for the Minnesota economy.